Hello and welcome to another quick tour for Cartographica version 1.2. In this screencast we'll be talking about kernel density mapping in Cartographica. So what you see on screen right now are points for crime locations in Washington DC in the year 2007. And what we're going to do is create a kernel density map of a specific crime. We're going to look at um, stolen autos, stolen automobiles in the city. Um, and we're going to see where uh, the concentration is uh, within the city. So, in order to first select out stolen autos from our crime layer, we have, um, you can see down at the, at below, we have 34,705 uh, crime locations in the city. So, I want to make that number a, a little lower by um, selecting out stolen autos. So, the way to do that is to come up here to the filter bar. We'll actually first make sure you have uh, crime highlighted in the layer stack, then come up to the filter bar. And we're going to select based on the offense, which is right there. And then we're just going to type in stolen auto. And you'll notice that we have now 5,997 uh, crime locations instead of 34,000. So now what we're going to do is actually conduct the kernel density analysis. And in order to do that, you click on tools. And then right here at the top it says make kernel density map. Now if we were to click on make kernel density map, uh, as it is right now, we would get a kernel density map that's based on a normal kernel. Um, but in order to bring up additional kernels, we can hold down the option button and click the and click the make kernel density map uh, button, and then you see this window shows up, and we can select um, the number of cells we want in our in our uh, kernel density map, um, how large the cells are. I usually just leave those at the default. Um, the key proportion it just means all of the, the the individual cells will be the same size. Um, right here we can select kernel, and that allows us to choose different types of kernels for for the analysis. So, like I said, we had the kernel or the normal kernel for if we were just to select it right out without holding the option button. Um, but because we held down the option button, we now have options. Um, uh, we can let's use the exponential kernel first and then the intensity and weight are ways to, to weight your um, your kernel density map on, on, on other characteristics of your variables in this case we're gonna not weight uh, based on anything we're just gonna use the, uh, the exponential kernel uh, by itself on on the data so let's click on analyze and we should get a new kernel density map and there it is so we can see we kind of have some some uh, clustering down here in the sort of west of downtown area. Um, and then we can double click on the kernel density map in the layer stack and we can change the, uh, the opacity of the layer if we want um, by just moving this bar up and down. Um, we can also change the color scheme. So if we click on window and bring up the window menu and click on show color palettes we can bring up the, the color schemes here and we can just click and drag those over into the uh, into the bar here and it will change the color scheme so if we let me remove the crime and you can see the the uh, distribution a little bit better um, the other way to do that is to to bring up the color palettes window again and you can just drag it straight into the uh, layer stack so we can just simply do that and it will also change either way works so that's kernel density mapping in cartographica version 1.2 thank you for listening